In this video, we're gonna go through the anatomy of a YouTube video. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So in our previous video, we talked about a plan to help organically grow and kick in the YouTube algorithm to help grow your channel. Put a little jet fuel on it to help grow it. Now what we want to do is add some extra, go through the anatomy of a YouTube video and how that first part one will make, once we add part two, will amplify what we're already doing in part one. These are all foundational things that we're doing. They just keep adding on and add more power and growth and to everything that we're doing. So when you open up and start a YouTube channel, most people think, oh, I'm just gonna throw it up there and that's about it. There's a lot more to do that. You need to literally consider, just like back in the day when people were on TBN, on TV, you have your own channel like your own tv channel that's catered to your content and you want to take that seriously you just don't want to just throw up anything now again if you've been at my channel i'm not about trying about just throwing tons and tons and tons of money that at your um at your church because sometimes you don't have it. Um, I'm trying to show you that what you can do is show a level of professionalism, but it doesn't take hundreds of thousands of dollars to do. You just need to use some strategies to be able to leverage this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna do video editing right now because you can check out my church post-production um, every Sunday and I go through that and I show you about video editing with DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editor that you can download. I'll have in the description. I'm not talking about that. This is after you've made the video and you're uploading it because your video quality is always gonna get better the more and more you do it. Just practice makes perfect. Um, you keep working on that. But this is the YouTube part, all right? If you looked at one of my projects, um, the Good Shepherd Baptist Church, I have them signing them up and getting them set up with YouTube. So this is a blank slate. They have nothing. So we're gonna be setting them up at the same time while I'm sharing this with you. So let's go ahead and cut over to this. I am here on Good Shepherd's very bare bones brand new youtube channel all right i'm not going through the whole setting up youtube stuff there's a video up here on i give you a guide on how to set up all of this so i've done that so what i want to do is actually cut over into here into our setup now this is beta the beta studio but i'm going to still go back to the classic because all of these features are not available yet in the beta mode so let me go ahead and I'm going to switch this back to classic. So the first thing you want to do is I highly recommend you get TubeBuddy or vidIQ, either one of these right now. Um, I have them just because this is on my computer, so they were already plugged in, but you can always sign up for them for free. And we'll go over that stuff later. All right. So what we want to do is go down to our channel and we want to go to upload defaults. All right, so this is the first thing. Your titles, tags, descriptions, and thumbnails are very, 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 very important. Because um, what you want to do is whatever your channel is, your church, you want it to be that when people type this thing in YouTube, whatever it is, you want your stuff to be in the first page or the first three flicks of your, the mouse wheel. Um, so like if I go here and the church is Good Shepherd Baptist Church, so let's go ahead and copy that. And I'm gonna open up a new one here. What I wanna do is just paste this here. And this is one of those super tricks right here. If you put in this, whatever you're searching for on YouTube, cause YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world next to Google. You wanna do a space and underscore this 
these are all the things that are being searched for right now when you put in that name. So these are all the tags that are going to come up anytime when I'm doing the search for this. Um, now again, there's tons of these. So ours is Good Shepherd Baptist Church RVA. So right now, no one's searching for that, which is good because I want that to be my tag. But I also want anytime somebody just searches for Good Shepherd Baptist Church, our videos are going to show up that way as well. So what I like to do is just doing this, I'm going to hit a print screen of that. And let's go over here to paint, have a picture of this. We're going to save this. All right. So what we want to do is now that we just search this, I'm just going to search on Good Shepherd and we want to see what's showing up like Good Shepherd Baptist Church. Now, hopefully you've done some research like i said in the previous setting up a youtube channel for your church we've already picked a name that differentiates us from everybody else so again ours is good shepherd baptist church rva and there is no name for that oh there's see there's my video of the tour that we did of the church good shepherd baptist church rva so that's good because the naming <laughs> made us be in the top page so that means if we follow these same strategies we will have our churches this church's videos will show up in this search so let's just look here so this has was done six years ago ten years ago this was two days ago, which is good. Six years, three years, three years, one year, three years, six years, five years. This right up oh, and here is our first live stream here at the church that we've moved over to YouTube, which is good because they're showing up. Everyone else other video here is over a year old. Well, actually, this one was done three days ago. Good Shepherd Baptist Church live stream. All right. But we're doing good. This is the original uh, pastor's YouTube channel, but that was his personal. We're going to tie that into our channel. So what we're looking at right now, we're doing, looking really good in our stuff being able to show up. So we have another Good Shepherd Baptist Church here. And so we have a good thing to follow. So let's go back to our upload defaults. First, what you want to do is your title is really important so in your title you want to have the church's name always there so that when it does a search that helps with the search so i have good shepherd baptist church but i'm going to also add rva into that um actually let me take that back i'm gonna have good shepherd baptist church in the title because right now no one is searching for good shepherd baptist church rva so if I did that, that would always show up, but we want Good Shepherd Baptist Church to also show up. So I have here in the defaults, every time a video is uploaded, it's going to have the title space bar Good Shepherd Baptist Church. So it's always gonna load. So the suggestion is you can do worship service of this day, live stream, date, whatever. So tell me a date to help archive it and things like that. Or like in my church, I do the title of the sermon um, to make it stand out. So it's this sermon, sermons, and the church name, or whatever. You can come up with whatever, but you want to have the name that you want people to search. When they search on it, it's always going to pull up your videos. Put that in the title in some way, shape, or form. All right. Now in the description, this is going to be a little bit different because I need to catch up with the church to do this. But like at my church, what we do is, and let me bring up my church's um, channel here. All right, so in our defaults here on my church's page, what we do is we use the hashtags that are similar to our names. Um, like we go by Antioch Verona, Antioch Baptist Church, Antioch Media. Then we also do a like, subscribe, and share at the top so people can easily click on that because I just did it here. We want to aim for these top three lines. That's always gonna show. Um, you want everything to show the valid information here. So in here, I have our church's name. That's going to show up. The like, subscribe is going to show up in the hashtags. That's the first things that are going to show up. Because um, rarely do people do show more, but you want all the relevant information up here at the top first. And inside of here, the strategy that we do is we put that information right after that. We do the who preached, the date, the scripture that they used 
And then the tag that we use are full length sermons from our church, learning the truth from the Bible about the Holy Spirit, the power of prayer, salvation, Jesus Christ, and the power of your praise. That is something we got from the pastor and things like that. This, this line, this was actually from our website. So I use that. I also have a link to our website and a link to all of our social media. That's what I have ours. So I'm going to copy a bit of this and put this over on their stuff. So that that way, every time they do a video, this is what shows up. So what we're gonna do is I need to obviously change this link because that's not a link to their stuff. Again, so we have our name in the title. We wanna put our name in the description as well. This is where I'm gonna add the RVA. And then we wanna put, I'll do speaker, date, like that. Full length sermons from And I'm just gonna put this as a temporary, um, something like that. But again, the idea is you wanna use that name or that tag, your church, that you wanna be identified in a search as many times as possible to help just stack that in your favor when people start searching for your stuff, all right? And then this will leave space for something else that they wanna do, like if they wanna add their website, which I believe is So what I'll do is put this here. And I'll leak the live, um, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll update that later. So right now, anytime we upload a video, the, these things are gonna be embedded there. So again, we add the name in our title. You wanna add the name in your description at least three times, two to three times there. And then now we're in tags. Tags is what we took this picture for. So. First off, we want to include Good Shepherd Baptist Church because that's the one that people are already searching for right now. Then you want to put whatever nicknames or something like that. So we can also do, in long words, you want to separate by brackets. Um, so we'll do Good Shepherd Baptist Church RVA, Richmond, Virginia and your tags are mainly what do you want to be associated with not like right now if you did church that's too broad like because if we go here now let's just try that see if we just do church they're over and I'm using a plug-in here to show this there are a million views of just the word church so if you search for that the chances of you being able to rank in that are very slim now my church's video is up there, hey. Um, but again, it's, it's gonna be difficult to actually do that. This is more gonna be kicking in because of what I'm searching for. Um, I really doubt, I mean, if we are up there, that's great. But you see, this is a very, very, very broad. So you want to actually niche down to exactly what people are looking for. So even if you did online sermons that's around almost 2,000 people are looking for that so that may be a good choice to include in there or well, online sermons to listen to um, online sermons Christian um, see a lot of these are good tags that you can use because you want anytime somebody is searching for this stuff you want to correlate it to your videos so you can come up with whatever tags you want. I can't show every single tag there is, but you need to find exactly what people are searching for and what you want your videos to show up in relation to. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm actually gonna make some changes like this to my own churches as well. So I'm gonna use online sermons, online sermons Christian, um, as well as online sermons to listen to. 
So I'm gonna add those tags. Online sermons. Online sermons. Christian. Online sermons to listen to. All right, so all of those are tags. So now every video that we have are gonna have our name in the title in some way, shape or form, our name some way, shape or form in the description, as well as tags, as well as other tags that will correlate our videos too. All right, so that's what you wanna do. Now, when you're doing live streaming, I do not believe the live stream will carry this stuff over. So you might wanna save this in a Word document or something on your desktop. And when you're doing your live stream, you copy that same information. So let me save this, but I'm gonna also copy this as well. All right. So what I'm gonna do is go over to our live stream because I've already scheduled a live stream um, for this coming Sunday. So in here, you wanna add that same information. So all this information now is in the live stream and it's gonna be saved. And then that would just save there. So you're good to go. All right. Now the other thing is we talked about thumbnails we we'll have to cover that in another time because there's a lot that you can go into that but i hope this really helped this is part two to our part one so if you're already having your five people and growing that every single week that are always liking subscribing sharing and leaving a comment this is now gonna again organically put that name out there so when people who are not even in your area that happen to be looking for this church again we already looked at it um over around 2,000 people are already looking for good shepherd baptist church anyway on youtube all you're doing is hitching your wagon onto those people who are already searching for that and then now your content is going to be made available when they're searching for that so again guys i hope this helped if you need to go back and look at part one again so that way you can see how this stuff gets built up because we have a series of these videos to help with church youtube growth Again, make sure you like this video, guys. Consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come up with new videos like this. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video. Later.